so the next wig I have is actually from a brand that I've never heard of or used. Um, so this is the Vela Vela Collection. And this is their wig, Jessie, in the color F1B30. So that's kind of like a uh, black with highlights. And the reason why I chose this wig was um, because I, I don't have any natural hair looking type wigs. All of my wigs are either straight, they're brown, they're short. Um, so this one has more of a natural look. So I said, if I'm gonna try something different, or start trying different things with the wigs, let me find something that looks the most comparable to what my natural hair actually looks like. So I'm really excited to check this one out. And guess what? This was only $16.88. So pretty affordable price for uh, such a natural looking wig. So I'm gonna take this out of the box. Let's see what we have here. And just off the bat, it looks, it feels very um, thick. So durable wigs are definitely a good investment. Gonna go ahead and clip off the promotional. And this also came in several other colors. So they had, I believe they had like a full black, a blonde and a red. So if you like to experiment with colors, maybe this will be the one for you. So oh, fresh out of the box, there's only two clips here for this wig. So we have one at the bottom, one at the top. I'm gonna remove those, but look at the hair. I mean, it looks pretty comparable to a natural hair texture. Um, not only that, but I might have to use some baby powder just to get the extra sheen out. But overall, I think the texture is definitely something that is comparable to my natural hair in some type of twist out or if I were to use like the perm rods it would it would come out like this so so far I'm I'm very pleased with what I see here okay so I just removed the clips um and luckily this cap also has an adjustable strap. So the reason why I removed those clips is because it could snag onto your natural hair, even if you are wearing a wig cap. And that's that's what leads you know, to the thinning edges and the balding and all that stuff. Um, so what you can do instead is make sure these adjustable straps are where you want them to be with enough circulation and then just use some bobby pins. So instead of using those clips, you could put the bobby pins in where you need that extra support. Go ahead and leave it on the first adjustment here. Oh, okay, so I think that I really like this one. Um, this is definitely probably gonna be my go-to because I still wanna wear my natural hair. I just shameless, lazy natural here, honestly. Um, and then I also do want to grow my hair out a little bit more. So this is giving me definitely the natural look that I'm going for. Um, I love the color. It's so soft and fluffy. And the thing that I know about natural looking wigs like this is that the more you wear them out, the more natural is going to look, right? So let's say you have this wig for a couple weeks or a couple months. I mean, I think you should still be good to go because it's going to just start thickening and getting more volume. Um, once these curls start to wane out, but I don't know. I, I really like it. I mean, you could play with it. Let's see what a front bang looks like. Okay, so this is a front bang. I like it. You could do a side bang here. You could do another side bang. Oops. On this side. Oh, I kind of like this right part, actually. Okay, so you could do something like that. Um, so let me go ahead and twirl around for you all so you could get a better look. Wow, okay, so I'm actually really impressed with this one for just a, a market standard wig. I mean, this is good. This is really good. It's fluffy, I could shake it out, and it just, it looks so natural. And yeah, so comparable to my natural hair. So this is gonna work. And again, like I said, you could go ahead and, you know, use baby powder if you want to 
get the sheen and the shine off, lay your edges. I just didn't do it today. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and give this a five out of five. Yes, five out of five stars for Mrs. Jessie here. And this is what it looks like on the model. It actually looks more natural in person, which is usually different when working with wigs. It looks totally different in person than it does on the actual promotional feature. But I think it looks better in person. What do you think? So if anyone is like really into the natural hair community, um, to Tony Daly's wigs, like hers are amazing. Um, I'm not really sure what her price points are actually, um, but her wigs, I know like she specializes in the natural hair wigs, right? But I would say this one could be comparable to one of her sets. Um, so yeah, if, if you're looking to get a daily wig and maybe you just don't have the, the finances for it or you, you're looking for wigs that look like your natural hair without you know, using straight wigs, but something that's more similar to what your actual, what your actual texture is like, uh, maybe check out Vila Vila collection. So um, I didn't really look at the other wigs that they had in stock, but maybe they'll have another one. So yeah, I'm, I'm really excited for this one. All right, I'll see you on the next video and be sure to leave your comments down below on what you think, or if you've tried this wig out before.